What's going on everybody? This is Super Robot Ed. And today we got more revealed picks from the Walmart exclusive Headmaster series. This includes Highbrow, Skull Cruncher, and Weird Wolf. And I'm going to tell you, if you have not picked these up when they were in the Titans Return line, this is a perfect opportunity to pick them up. I would say this is a definite go. And the reason why I say that because these are mimicking the Legends version releases. The only difference is they won't have the extra weapons that came with the uh, Headmasters for the Legends version. So let's begin right off the bat. There's some details that are painted up here. Uh, the cockpit has silver on it with these yellow accents. As I recall, that's not with the uh, Japanese version. And definitely on the American version because I'm looking at it on my shelf. This looks really good. And I'm going to tell you something about the Titans Return Headmasters. Yeah, the weapons were a little funky. I didn't like the whole, we got to turn the weapons in the cockpit because it did diminish the weapons. But overall, there's some sturdiness in these toys. And I hope that the tooling is nice and tight and not loose. And again... There's him holding the headmaster as he's preparing to merge. And the two guns are together. And I'm looking at the details alone. These are slightly modified. And I say that slightly modified from the uh, Takara versions, definitely. So you're basically getting Takara versions with better paint apps. Yes, better paint apps. Hopefully at that Walmart good old price. And there's the head. And the head sculpt is exactly like the Headmaster animation in Japan. So yeah, I think collectors might need to step on these. And looking at those details, the added paint on some of it does kind of deter it a little bit. But I don't know. Now I kind of want to double dip. And each time I look at Highbrow, I get closer and closer to wanting him. Now we have Skull Cruncher, and I want to point out a few things about Skull Cruncher as we go through a review of him, but so far so good. He looks plain, but he's still, the Headmaster looks really painted up much better than the American version. Um, and you're about to see what they're doing with these is they're giving them, looks like chrome or silver paint to bring out certain details. And like with the teeth here, I don't even think the Japanese version has it, but the Japanese version has a red, uh, like a deep red inside the tongue. I do remember that. But I keep looking at the Headmaster. The Headmaster looks really good. If it's to match these product shots, it's a go. But the silver teeth bring out the jawline of the toy, and I think that's perfect. And though he looks a little plain and he's missing the Decepticon symbol like the Takara version, he is very close to the Takara version. Now the problem with the Takara version was the waist. The waist was really loose and the ball joints were terrible. And I made a mistake on mine so I had to actually use a Titan's Return waistline which was a little different. And I got it to work. Maybe I'll do a video on it when this comes out. And I'm hoping that they fix that issue if they, because they are borrowing from the Japanese version. And you can see the face. The face is not the American version where it doesn't really look like a face. This is definitely the, the Takara version. But if they are using that mold, there is an issue with the ball joints and the waist. So hopefully they fix that. And, you know, I'll be the guinea pig on that again because I do like Skull Cruncher. And again, here's another shot of him. And he looks really, really nice. Um, yeah. You know, I just wish he had a Decepticon symbol. I don't know why they didn't give him that. And, of course, they show him with the weapon and it's in his back as some kind of... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I, I, I don't know if that would be feasible. That might be a little back heavy. But overall, if you don't have him, you didn't get him, get him. Now we go to the Peace de la Resistance. And that is Weird Wolf. Now, I'm going to also point out some things about Weird Wolf here. I only have the Titans Return version and I think the head is ugly. The face details are just weird. It's, it's not the same face sculpt. And of course, there's an issue that the toy has and I want to point that out. Is that rubber flap. 
But take a good look at the head. On the innards of the head, they're painted silver. The teeth are also painted silver. That's some nice details there. And you can see it more from the side. You know, it's got a lot of paint apps. Not too much, not too little. Just right to make it look almost like a premium toy. And again, these figures are very sturdy. Um, you know, they're, they're not cheap feeling. I always thought that the Titans Return was one of the best lines of the three. And I know a lot of people may have had their misgivings, but I think it's better than Combiner Wars and loads better than Power of the Primes because Power of the Primes was the worst. So you see the opening cockpit. Well, that's where the flap is. Now from here, I don't know if it's that rubbery material. It looks like it could be hard plastic, but it is painted. So let's give a hope that they might have fixed that because that's an issue with this toy. And again, look at that face, the innards, man, the, 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 the jawline, silver. And we see him preparing to, you know, dock on as the head or head on. And the paint details on the headmaster looks very nice, the weapon. Uh, now the head is on and you can see it from a side profile. But he is definitely the Japanese version. And the subdued paint apps on him make him look a little more anime accurate. So I would definitely give this a go and go ahead and get them. If you don't get them, you're going to miss out. It's the third time's the charm and you can see it there. There's the face and they got the gun weirdly placed on his hip. So the only thing I want them to do, fix that rubbery flap, give us the Japanese style head and I'm in. Other than that, yes, all three are probably going to be purchased by me. So what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. I think as a collector, you're getting headmasters again with a little bit more details and hopefully they keep the sturdiness of the plastic. It would make it a go. It's going to be in some nostalgic uh, transformer packaging and I think that's going to be pretty cool for collectors. I know in my past videos I kind of was like, yeah, but these releases in particular are ones that I truly want. So I thank you for watching the video and taking the time to look at this presentation. And if you like what I'm putting down, please like, subscribe, and share. And I thank you so much to all my subscribers. Have a great night.